You're watching Cars.TV. I'm Tyler Tadovic, and I'm the owner of True Speed Autosport, and we're sitting out here at the Thermal Club in Thermal, California. When I did finally get my opportunity to be the guy in charge and in ownership, man, all my guys will tell you, I'm first guy here, I'm last guy to leave, and, and we do this together, right? It's a we thing. Racing for me to begin with was a passionate pursuit. I got to racing at about 24 or 25 years old, which is already pretty late in the game as far as a driver is concerned. And uh, I found out pretty early on that it's a resource intensive endeavor. It costs a lot of money to go racing and I don't come from a lot of money. And so it was uh, recognizing that the first couple of years I was in the sport, I tried to trade work for seat time in a car and I was able to do that, but couldn't work nearly enough to get the seat time that I really wanted. And as much as I wanted that, it looked more realistic that I could stay in the industry by doing something else. And so I started off as picking stickers. And previous to that, I'd been doing a number of other things. None of those things really panned out for me recognized that really wasn't going to work out, and so that led to transitioning to working on the team. Lead by example, right? You've got to be willing to be the guy to change the tire or climb up on the trailer and put the awning up. All of those things, if guys see you doing that, A, they appreciate that because they see other guys who aren't, right? Other owners who never get their hands dirty or do anything like that. And B, it's, uh, man, that's part of the job I like too. It keeps me young, dude. You know, I want to climb up on the trailer and I want to be the guy out there. I like that. My customers like seeing that, you know? I mean, one of the reasons that I think we're having the success we're having now is because if an issue happens with the car, I'm in the middle of that with my guys. We take care of it. We do everything as a team, right? And I think that team component is the biggest thing that racing provides that other things don't or other jobs don't. We spend more time together than we do with our families ultimately when we're on the road. And so that team component, that friend component, man, that's the part that's the most important to me for sure. Where we ended up today, there was never really a game plan for that. It just kind of morphed into that. But to begin with, we were a racing team, right? And so I went from providing professional racing services where we tried to win and we had sponsors. That transitioned then into customer racing. So guys who was hobbies racing, we found that the customer racing was actually pretty lucrative. And so that's kind of what we focused on. You know, we did a little bit of pro racing to keep our pedigree, so to speak, but the customer racing was actually what was funding the deal. And that's what we were doing in Orange County. Moving out here, we are recognized, A, you know, there are a lot more customer opportunities, and B, they're captured, right? They own homes here. And the first couple years were tough because we still struggled to determine what the business model was. We were still trying to be a racing car team, providing an annual set number of services for a set group of guys. And what we recognized was, instead of trying to coerce them into doing what it is that we offered, we need to modify what we do. And so we've kind of gone from being a professional racing team that has a set schedule and a set number of events and doing that to more of a racing service provider. Been able to take the pedigree of doing all that pro racing and find myself a little niche here out of the thermal club that you know for the people who want to do this and have never done it before to work with someone who has has experience in it makes them comfortable makes them feel like they're not getting ripped off and they're getting the proper product and all that and for me it's a lot of fun to take a guy who is you know a captain of industry right like this guy is a billionaire and has made all this money, is hugely successful, and everyone bows to him and all. But when he comes to racing, he doesn't know anything, right? The guys who are really uber successful are so self-effacing. They're the ones who go, dude, I don't know anything. Will you please help me out? And we help them along. The guys who are successful enough to be here, but maybe aren't, you know, gajillionaires, they're the ones who kind of seem to know everything, right? No, I know, I know, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, go ahead, you got it. We let them fail and then we help them and fix it. But it's interesting how you can see why they're so successful. The way a guy like me gets to be in a building like this is a hustle, right? I can't write a check for a building like this, but I was fortunate enough to connect with a guy who was willing to do a building with me and a partner. His name's Tom Clower. Garage Row Racing is the name of his company. He's a fantastic person. I'm super thankful for him. So when we built this building, we were going to design meetings and at one point I finally said dude I don't need to go to these anymore because what you're looking to do is so beyond what I was hoping for it just surprised me and so one of the design meetings she said hey dude you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna put a race car I'm gonna hang a race car on the wall I'm gonna make a mural of it going as if it were going from the wall into a racetrack on the wall and I said Oof. 
I was not sold at all. And so I'm sure you'll show, but the, the, the end result came out pretty fantastic. And it looks like it's going, so the mural is actually of the thermal club. So if you look, the car's on the wall and then it goes into the racetrack. And at the very end of the racetrack is my building at the very end of the racetrack. So it's pretty cool. It's really Tom's building that he lets me hang out in.